Okay. So as indicated, really what we're trying to do in this session is get feedback from you. And so I'm going to open us up with just three slides to be able to start us off with some thoughts to kind of frame our discussion this afternoon for the hour to kind of let you know a little bit about some of the information that we've already heard through our town halls and the discussions that we've had regarding this strategic planning process about genomic medicine. Then the idea is that we'll open it up and we'll be able to get feedback from all of you regarding are there things that we're missing? What are some other new ideas that you might have? The idea is not to wordsmith the text that is on the slides. This is just to give you a starting place for the conversation, but rather to come up with what are any other new big ideas that we're missing or ideas that you guys have to contribute to the strategic planning process. Okay. So with that, the first slide here is to talk to you a little bit about the overall vision that we've been hearing expressed as we start having these strategic planning discussions for genomic medicine and health. And so the way that we've phrased this so far is to talk about genomic medicine and our vision to really integrate genomics into routine medical practice. And we want to be able to do this in a way that not only is going to prevent disease, but also improve health. So this isn't just medicine, but also the broader concept of health itself. We want this to be able to cover all members of our diverse community that we have in the United States. And we want to be able to engage the patients, their families, and the entire healthcare team in this genomic healthcare process. So that's the overall vision that we're starting from. From there, we have a couple of bullets that highlight some of the major themes that we've come, heard come out of discussions so far. The first of these we've talked a lot about at this meeting, that there need to be systems in place to be able to integrate genomics into everyday clinical and public health practice, that we need these types of frameworks, that we need these infrastructure to be able to put the data into the electronic health records, that we need standards to so that everyone knows that they're talking about the same piece of data. Second is regarding developing processes to then be able to use genomics in routine clinical practice. This is really going beyond just having the infrastructure and the systems in place, but also thinking about things such as the consent process and return of results and how can we make the process itself of doing genomics both in medicine and health function better. The third point is to then build these knowledge bases out so that we have the information needed to be able to do predictive genomic medicine in diverse populations. So this needs to be applicable to everyone. The fourth bullet is to evaluate our evidence for genomic prevention and therapeutic strategies. So this is more of the evidence piece that we've been having a lot of discussion about at the meeting here today. We then want to make sure that this information has utility for all members, so not just clinicians, but this is useful to the patients themselves as well. And we want to make sure that they're engaged in this process and that we understand how is genomics used by the individual and what information has utility to the patient themselves. And then finally, the last bullet that we have here is to be able to train providers to be able to adopt clinical genomics. And this was also left intentionally broad because in many of these conversations, it's been talking about the providers as potentially being multiple different individuals in the healthcare community who would be providing this information back in order to be able to do clinical genomics. So then the last slide that I have for everyone today are just some of the places that we have heard about that we should engage with as part of this two-year strategic planning process that Eric had introduced yesterday. So we are planning on interacting extensively with the Genomic Medicine Working Group of Council that we have at NHGRI that also helps with setting up these meetings. We're also planning on doing outreach beyond NHGRI to be able to engage with stakeholders and to be able to do crosstalk across different groups to be able to think about what are the big challenges that we have with implementing genomics in medicine and health. And this is one of the, an example of doing that kind of outreach, hearing from you guys, what do we need to include in this process? We're also planning on doing outreach to other institutes, both at the NIH as well as other federal agencies to be able to find out more about what their current plans are and what they've had success with in the past. And then continuing to review all of our existing programs that we have at NHGRI in genomic medicine and health to be able to learn from the consortiums that we're already funding. 
that is everything that I had to present to everyone today. And so I will just go back a slide so that we have the bullets up there for everyone to be able to look at and open it up for discussion.